Hello once again. I wanted to go over with you something uh, I came across from a customer. Actually, you have these on the steering wheel, these switches <clears throat> that you can control the volume of your radio up and down. You can control the fan. You control uh, um, also the temperature of your car. And they are available on your steering wheel. As you see over here, these are the options, volume up and down, uh, mode for AM and FM, fan up and down, and temperature up and down. So these are available on your steering wheel. The reason being because the, the, the manufacturer doesn't want you to spend the time to look away from, obviously, draw, uh, um, um, looking ahead at traffic instead of looking for the, the knobs on the middle of the, uh, of the console. So this way, at least your focus still is still on the highway, on, on the road. So, like I said, customer complained that fan on doesn't work and all that. Now, as, you, as we've seen with other things, guess where this comes from? Body control module again. My point being, everything is body control module. Same me, a vehicle we're talking about, Trailblazer SUV, more problems. You know, you can have the greatest engine in a car. But it means nothing if you don't have a, a good fuel injection system to deliver the fuel and the spark. It could be the best engine there is. It could be a Honda engine. If I cannot get fuel and spark to that car to, to develop com compression, it means absolutely nothing. So anyway, dealing with types of cars, the, the way how this works is... This is the body control module. Always focus on main components. As you see, I highlighted the main component. This is steering wheel control switches, all in one unit. You see the dotted line, all in one unit, the switches. This is the body control module. Obviously, there's another part to it, many, many more. And when we close the switch, we flip the switch. You see this middle one? It's not making contact to anything. When we flip it either this way or in the the other direction, we're making contact with this resistors or we're making contact over here with this resistor. Two options that you have. So in this direction, you're controlling temperature to go up. In this direction, we're controlling the temperature to go down. When you're closing this switch in this direction, you're going here and you're controlling the fan up, fan speed up. When you're going this way, you're going fan down. You're adding more resistance. More resistors mean, guess what? Less voltage, lower speed. Let's look uh, look at a little more closer. He's giving a B plus. Supply voltage, low reference to the ground. Serial data is a telephone line, like I told you. That's how he um, communicates to other modules. So supply voltage is a 12 volts. He gets a 12 volts, he gives a 12 volts. Follow the line, he gives a 12 volts through this, <clears throat> something called variable restraint steering wheel module coil. That is a mechanism that we can put in the steering wheel that we can have current flow and it doesn't interfere uh, mechanically with the controls of the steering wheel. NCA, no color available. No color associated. We don't know the color of this. It doesn't really matter. We just know there's a connection. That's what's important. We go from light green to whatever this color. We don't know what the color is. Anyway, we go over here to this switch, to the switches over here. Like we said, so 12 volts comes in here. If your temperature up, I want to increase the temperature. Where's the switch position? In this position, from here to here. This is the one that flips this would on to here. It flipped over here. We go through this resistor. We're not going up here because this hasn't been activated. We're going over here through this resistor, 1180. Through this resistor, 715. Through this resistor, 475. Through this resistor, 345. Through this resistor, 294. Through this resistor, 1270. And where? Back to the other one, other coil. Back where? Again, to this one. Radio control signal. To this signal wire. Basically, we're dropping voltages. The more resistors that you go through, like we just said, the less voltage will come back to the body control module, the less of the speed. If we're going, if we're going this way, temperature, uh, temperature down, we're adding more resistor. We're adding this resistor in addition to all of these.
If we're going over here, this this voltage over here for the radio, I want to put the volume up. I have nothing to do with the air conditioning. Where am I going? I'm going over here. The voltage goes over here. The current flows over here because this is not closed, this path. Switches are not activated. Switches are activated only for this one, volume up. He goes over here. And what, what resistor we go through? Only this one, 1270, drops the voltage. But not that much as with these. That voltage comes back, is a signal to this. And then he knows what to do with the voltage up. So he knows by the, by the voltage drops, the voltage that it gets, he knows which, uh, uh, um, which um, switch has been activated. Put it that way. Just like the blower motor. When you have resistors on different speed, high and low speed on your blower motor, the fan, the fan blower, the fan uh, uh, motor, that's how it knows by the, by the resistors. That's how it works. L one more thing uh, for this one. We spoke about relays. We spoke about different types of diagrams. We spoke about Mitchell, all data, uh, the ones from the, from the service manual, and they all have pin numbers. I'm using, like I said before, Haynes manuals. There's a reason for it. We are familiar with the with with a relay. We've been through it already a couple of times. We're gonna we want to control this compressor clutch to be engaged for the compressor. We want to engage the clutch. We need a relay. Follow the orange. We go over here. Twelve volts goes in here to this one first. The coil always is first. Go here. Go here, and of course to where powertrain control module into this relay control. This gives it a ground. How, we do we, how do we know it gives it a ground? Because the other side already has 12 volts. I'm not going to have 12 volts here, 12 volts here. I have 12 volts here. That means the computer gave it a ground. Here's the ground, uh, the control. So I, even though I'm, I'm putting an arrow going in for current, still, to me, this is an output because it's controlling, it's controlling something. To me, it's an output. The computer is controlling an output, basically the relay. So... This now is activated. What happens to the switch? The switch is closed. Now, which one toggles? This position or this position? People were getting confused. You see the one with the arrow? Hopefully you can see it. This is the one that toggles. The one with the arrow toggles from here to here. This doesn't have the arrow, so this is not going anywhere. This toggles from here to here, and then from here to here. So the 12 volts now goes to here. To where? To follow the green, to 12 volts, to the clutch, to engage the clutch to the compressor. Okay, fine, we had this before. The computer is involved. It gives it a ground, turns this on, activates the switch, and then we close the relay. We have 12 volts over here at the connector, great. What's the problem here? We don't have the pin numbers. Now, look at the relay. That is a problem. How do I know Let's say I want to test these points. Number one, if I want to test these points, but I want to jump the relay. How do I know? How 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 do I know that? One sec. How do I know which is thirty? How do I know which one is eighty-seven? Which one toggles? We said the one with the arrow. This one goes to here. This doesn't have an arrow. How do I know which one toggles? Well, this one is the mid one. This one doesn't go anywhere. This is the one that toggles. 87A to 87. This goes from here to here. So over here, if we look at it, this is 87A here in the open in the arrest position. This is 87. 87 is here, which is 30. This will be 30. 30 has a 12 volts. So 12 volts is here. And then when this closes, this is 12 volts. So 12 volts here, 12 volts here. That's how you figure it out. That's why I wanted to come up with this schematic to show you. Sometimes you won't have the pin numbers. It's not always going to be that easy. And you have to understand how to, uh, uh, um, to access it and to interpret it. So remember... Always the one that goes to the 12 volts is number 30 over here, this one. The one that toggles with the arrow is this one to this one. Hope that helped. Again, now we have another one, the blower motor. Speaking about blower motor, look at this blower motor here, here, here. Now we have something called auxiliary blower motor control processor. Another, another module, so to say. This lets the blower motor work. 
turn goes here. And of course, what do you think it goes to? Another module, HVAC control module. What else is new, right? As an input to this one, this inputs and controls, see it? And controls this blower motor, uh, blower motor. So it's not anymore now just a simple switch and all that. Now the computer controls it, the modules control everything. So that's how it is, unfortunately. But anyway, um, thanks for watching. Please go to my channel, Joe Electronic Schematics for Auto. My other one, Automotive Electronic Schematics by Joseph.